Well, welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we'll be taking a look at the New Balance 650 silhouette in the black and white colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. to another unboxing and review if you're joining us for the first time welcome in today we'll be covering the 650 new balance silhouette in the black and white colorway we'll go through the overview of these jump into size and fit followed by how i style this classic color scheme then we will conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market so let's jump right into it if you are a fan of the 650 silhouette this is a definitely amazing color palette to have in your collection especially if you're somebody who's obsessed with just simple kind of black and white palettes this is definitely a go-to color scheme that they've just released especially if you are somebody who maybe wanted to have those panda dunks but decided not to because you wanted to be different this could be the sneaker for you as far as the upper goes it's completely covered in a white leather and then we've got subtle hits of this black on the mesh we've got white laces and a white and black tongue new balance is completely colored in the black color scheme as well as the 650 to pop off that white tone then the trimming of the tongue is in that black shade all right let's take a look at those details then move along to the side paneling side panels we pretty much got it completely covered in a white tone we've got black for the new balance and then new balance is subtly placed here on top of hits of this gray you pretty much have hits of gray kind of dispersed but it's not too much uh, and then we've got new balance and black on top of the white leather on the back of the heel the interior is in black and gray then we've got the same color blocking on the lateral side of the sneaker 650 is in black here and again that new balance some black on the side panel then as we work our way to the bottom we've got more hits of this gray and black on the back of the heel and then we've got new balance in white as well as a gray black and white outsole let's take a look at those last and final details All right, so as far as size and fit goes, for the high 650 silhouette, I definitely go true size on this. If you do have higher narrow feet, do you take that into consideration when deciding on what size range will fit best for you. Now let's jump into how I styled this really classy, simplistic color scheme. For the first look, I decided to wear a black and white dress. Definitely felt like dressing this up, and that was in a knit, knitted material. Nice and summery, spring type of dress. Definitely don't feel Feel like you shouldn't be able to dress these up this is definitely a fun sneaker to have some fun with Big man, 
second look, decided to wear a cropped white blazer with some light denim pants. And then for the last and final look, decided to wear a bodysuit that was kind of mesh at the bottom and just a nice simple black toned maxi skirt that was in a cargo kind of feel. All right, now let's talk about how these are doing currently on the resale market. So these retailed at $130 and they're currently going between 170 to 200. Definitely understanding that price point on the resale market just because again, this is just such a great color combination that New Balance did on this silhouette. All right, everybody, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. My name is Marissa Hill, this is Shay TV. We will catch you all next episode. Every time I go